most amazing artists, I hope you are having an awesome day today. And welcome to a brand new project. This project is all about the artist Henri Matisse and his collages or his paper cutouts. We are going to be making some paper cutouts for this project. And what we're going to need is a new piece of paper and I've cut this into a long rectangle shape. This is our base paper and this is what we're going to be gluing our cutouts to. I have a bunch of different colored construction paper here because I'm going to be cutting out shapes with my scissors in just a minute and I want to have lots of different colors to choose from which means I need scissors and I have some glue because we're going to be collaging this onto our paper and I like to use a little glue cup and a glue brush with just regular white glue in there. If you don't have that at home you can of course use a glue stick or a glue bottle, something of that nature. And I have a pencil to write my name and that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take a pencil and write my name anywhere I want to on my piece of paper and then I'm going to flip it over so now my name is on the back. We don't want to collage on the same side as our name because then we're just going to cover it up. So write your name anywhere on your paper and then flip it over so now your name is on the back. Almost forgot to mention I also have a messy mat under my work to make sure I don't get any mess on my table. Now for this first step, what we're going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and we're going to do something really fun with our cutting today. Of course we're going to use our very best scissor safety because we always do when we're using scissors and that means our scissors are facing away from our body. It's never facing towards our body because that's very dangerous and scary. So make sure you rotate your scissors and the blade or the silver part is facing away from your body. And I have my thumb in the small hole and I can fit two fingers in this larger hole. Maybe you can fit three. Just do whatever is most comfortable for you. Two is perfect for my hand size. And while I'm cutting, I'm going to make sure my thumb is on top. If your fingers are on top, um, well, that's very uncomfortable and you're going to have a hard time with your cutting. So make sure you rotate your hand and your thumb is on top. Now this paper here, our base paper, we're not going to be cutting this. The only thing we're going to be cutting is our construction paper off to the side here. And normally when we cut out shapes, we're going to want to draw it with pencil first, but we are not going to do that because that's not how Henri Matisse made his paper cutouts. What he would do was he would just take his scissors and he would start creating shapes from just cutting with his scissors. And this is called drawing with scissors. So that's what makes this really fun is that we're just gonna let our scissors go wherever they wanna go. You could make organic shapes, you could make geometric shapes. And uh, there is my first shape. We're gonna do the first layer today and these are gonna be larger shapes. We want to have larger shapes in the background and then as we build onto this collage, as we keep on cutting and gluing different shapes, our shapes are going to get smaller and smaller. So this week we're gonna keep our um, shapes pretty big. It's the size of my hand almost. So keep that in mind while you're working today and getting started on your collage. Make sure your shapes are not very teeny tiny because then later on in this project, you're probably just gonna cover those up. So make sure your shapes are at least the size of your hand today. And once you're happy with the shape, you can go ahead and glue it down. In fact, I recommend the moment you cut a shape out, go ahead and glue it down because we don't want to lose this shape. Um, and if we don't have our name on it or anything, so if it falls on the ground or if it gets lost somewhere, we're not going to know whose shape this is. So the best way to make sure we don't lose any of our shapes is right after you cut it out, we're going to glue it down. And as you notice, I'm doing dot dot, not a lot, all the way around the edge of my shape. Do I need to put glue in the middle? No, I don't need to put glue in the middle. That would just be too much glue. We do dot dot, not a lot to remind us we don't need a lot of glue. And we go all the way around the edge because if we have all the edges glued down, then our shape will definitely not come off. So I have all my dots around the edge of this shape here. And I noticed that this is actually an organic shape because if I drew a line down the center, the left side is different than the right side. It almost looks the same, but this side's a little bit wider. So this is an organic shape. And it's gonna be my first shape, so I'm gonna glue it up towards the top, and I'm gonna hold it down and count to 10. All right, once you glue a shape down, we're gonna flip it over and do the wiggle test. Just wiggle it a little bit, and if nothing falls off, then we can move on to our next shape. 
So I'm gonna get a new color, because I wanna make this work of art super colorful. So I'm gonna try to choose a different color every single time. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna start drawing or cutting out a new shape. And we want it to be a different shape than the shape that we did for our last one. So try to do a different shape. Remember, our first shapes that we glue down, they are going to be at least the size of our hand. So do not make your shapes very, very teeny tiny. Let's look at this shape. Is this shape organic or is this a geometric shape? What do you think? Hmm. Well, if you said organic, then you can give yourself a pat on the back because yes, this is an organic shape. If I drew a line down the center, the left is different than the right side. So we know this is an organic shape. And I'm gonna glue this one down right below my last one that I did. And I'm gonna do dot, dot, not a lot, all the way around the edges. Now, if you happen to get too much glue on accident, it starts to drip, then we need to remind ourselves, drip, drip, wipe it on the lip of the glue cup, not the lips on your face, silly head. Ew, that would be really nasty. Don't wipe this glue on your lips. It's not chapstick, it's glue. So drip, drip, wipe it on the lip of your glue cup. And that is just to help us not add too much glue. So let me go ahead and add my dots all the way around the edge and then I'll be right back to glue it down. All right, I have my dots all the way around the edge. I didn't need to put glue in the middle because that would be too much. And I'm gonna go underneath the last shape that I made and I'm gonna glue this one down, hold it down and count to 10. All right, time for the wiggle test. Wiggle it just a little bit, and if nothing falls off, then we're good to go. If an edge does start to come up, what do you think you could do? If a shape falls off, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, you're right. We probably need to add a little bit more glue until it sticks all the way. All right, so I have two shapes now, and both of these are organic shapes, so maybe I want to do a geometric shape next. And I am going to do... Uh, let's see, I think I have room for two more shapes down here. So we are just gonna do the background today and you could probably fit one, two, three, four shapes back there. As long as you're making them big enough, don't do any teeny tiny shapes. We want to make sure our shapes are as big as our hand today. As we keep on making shapes in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna make smaller shapes to go on top. But today we're just doing the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my last two shapes down here and then I'll be right back to show you what it's looking like so far. I just finished gluing all four of my shapes. Depending on how big your shapes are, you might have room for only three shapes in the background, you might have room for five. We just wanna fill up our paper from the top to the bottom, and we're gonna have a lot of extra space left because next week we're gonna start adding even more shapes and colors on top of these ones. So today we're just doing these in the background, and like I said, you could do organic shapes, or I put a geometric shape here. A geometric shape is symmetrical, so the left side is the same as the right side. So you can mix and match your organic and geometric shapes, or you could do all organic, or you could do all geometric. That's totally up to you. All right, this is it for today. I hope you guys have a lot of fun drawing with your scissors, and of course using your best scissor safety, and uh, creating the background for your Matisse cutouts. I can't wait to see how they're turning out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.